Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To access the Camera Raw Preferences dialog box in Photoshop Elements, click the Open Preferences dialog button towards the upper right corner of the Camera Raw dialog box. In the General section, you can set the default Camera Raw settings to apply to raw images by selecting either Adobe Default or camera settings from the Raw Default Settings dropdown. This setting determines whether the default profile applied to the camera raw image is one of the Adobe defaults, or if it is one of the camera matching defaults if camera matching profiles are available for the type of camera used to take the raw image. In the DNG file handling section, use the Sidecars dropdown to choose how to handle sidecar data. Your choices are embed XMP in DNG, always use Sidecar XMP files, or ignore Sidecar XMP files. To update embedded JPEG previews in DNG files if desired, check the Update Embedded JPEG Previews checkbox, then use the Adjacent dropdown to select the desired preview size. To use a more compact layout of the sliders and settings in the panel that appears to the left of the toolbar at the right side of the Camera Raw dialog box, check the Use Compact Layout checkbox. If checked, this forces the setting name and slider onto the same line and shortens their names to save vertical space. If opening multiple Camera Raw files at once in the Camera Raw dialog box, the files appear in a film strip at the side or bottom of the preview area. You can then click a picture in the film strip to select it and edit it in the preview area. The film strip settings let you determine the appearance of the film strip. Use the orientation dropdown to select whether you want a horizontal or vertical film strip. To show file names in the film strip, check the Show File Names checkbox. To show ratings and color labels, Check the Show Ratings and Color Labels checkbox. You can uncheck either checkbox to hide them instead. To change the default magnification level used to zoom in on Camera Raw images, select the desired percentage from the Default Image Click Zooms To dropdown. To enable a Lightroom Style Zoom and Pan, check the Use Lightroom Style Zoom and Pan checkbox. If enabled, then you can click and hold down the mouse button to zoom in on a preview image and also automatically activate the hand tool so you can then drag to pan as needed. Then release the mouse button and click again to zoom out. Enabling this setting also removes the zoom tool and hand tool from the toolbar at the right side of the camera raw dialog box. Unchecking the checkbox uses the default zoom and pan of the Camera Raw dialog box. In the Keyboard Shortcuts section, you can check or uncheck the Use Legacy Undo Shortcuts checkbox to enable or disable the Legacy Undo Shortcuts. After changing your settings, click the OK button in the upper right corner of the Camera Raw Preferences dialog box to apply them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.